down. Put me down. I am a legion warrior, not a good for nothing. There is something fishy about this inheritance. Let me fight. Don't waste your energy. Your only job is to point us the right direction. If your wounds get worse, you'll have to stay a good for nothing for another month. God. Religion people all muscle and no brain. A lot of you are just like your boss, a bunch of brainless brutes. Don't you dare badmouth my commander! I respect my commander, so I can't stand people saying anything bad. But she's really, really scary. I guess you could fill up the entire syndicate with people cursing her behind her back. Don't you think so? Sorry. I did it again. You little devil. I'll deal with you as soon as I'm back on my feet. <laughs> We've got a brainless fangirl here. <laughs> Ow! The Legion's enemies are numerous. Don't pay any attention to any of those rumors. You've met my boss. You know what she's like. What's the matter? You look terrible. <laughs> it's good enough that only those in the Legion know my boss is a decent person. Anyway, considering you'll join us sooner or later, I'm going to give you a taste of what she's like. My boss was not among the first to join the Legion. It was not called the Legion before she joined, and I was not a sinner. We were just a mercenary fleet on the outskirts away from the urban area, hiding in the desert and surviving on commissions because the fleet was afraid of getting involved in battles. Whenever we crossed paths with gangsters, when they were plundering and looting, we kept our mouths shut and took a detour. When they came for us, all we could do was run away, make compromises or beg for mercy. I was furious and wanted to take them on but Earl stopped me at every turn. He said battles required strength, which we didn't have. So I was not happy when he took Boss Zoya on board, saying that we were to reform the fleet and build up our strength to fight back against the gang. That just meant I wasn't good enough and I didn't deserve to be on the battlefield. I was so pissed off. I went out to pick fights with gangsters. I came back to challenge her to a duel, all to prove that I was strong. I had what it took that I could fight. Defeating her would be proof enough. It went on for a while, and then I got hit in the arm by a bullet, a mania bullet. The contamination was spreading so fast that it would have to have my arm amputated. Before the amputation, I challenged her to a duel again. I thought that would be my last fight. My boss stopped Earl when he tried to intervene and accepted my challenge. She took it seriously, and she knocked me down without mercy. She encouraged me to fight on. A lot of nonsense is happening in this world, but there's one thing that's certain. As long as you still want to shout and hold your head high, you have the right to fight. My battle was not over. She was waiting for me to get back on my feet. Yes, I did. 
I wasn't beaten by the contamination. I became a sinner. The injury in my arm became my battle mark, and she my beacon. I don't know. There are many things that my commander won't tell me about. But that's not important. It's she who showed me that I'm worthy of battlefields. She is my beacon. And for that reason, I'll follow her until the day I die. For her, I would do anything. Of course you do. Our commander is fabulous and cool, isn't she? Whoever lays eyes on her is bound to succumb to her charms. Anyway, I've been having this feeling, and I'm now certain what it is all about. You're exactly the type of person that my boss most appreciates. You're weak, but you have the quality she really admires. Oh, you're the envy of me. You're so weak. Come back with me to the Legion when the battle is over. My boss will be delighted to see you. <laughs> Pity that you won't live to see the day! Who's there? <laughs> Lackeys of the Legion! Thanks for leading the way! You can die now! 